Hey YouTube, there uh, been some discussion on some of the, uh, the laser forms about the covers on top of the laser. People have been asking, well, can I replace my uh, colored uh, plexiglass sheet that I look through to, to watch the laser while it's running? Can I place that with clear? And there, there's all kinds of responses back. <clears throat> Anything from, oh, uh, yeah, sure, replace it with clear, to no, you got to have the colored because it's uh, blocking the laser, you got to have special material. Okay, well, well, here's the bottom line. In the infrared band, plexiglass, uh, Lexlan, acrylic, whatever you want to call it, is opaque. You cannot see through it, or infrared does not go through it. Okay? Now, yes, it will cut it. But it's forcing it, that beam is, is forcing its way through. So ju just to put everything at rest, I've got two water bottles here. All right, now they are plastic. Yes, okay. But the water's been in there long enough that they, it's actually heated or cooled the outside. This bottle's got just cold tap water in it. This water's uh, bottle's got hot water in it because you can see the, the, where the steam has been coming up. Okay. What I'm going to do is pass in front of them is I've got a sheet of just some clear eighth inch plexiglass um, that I've, you can see I've already cut a piece out of. And then I've got, and you probably can't even really see this, but just a, a small piece of uh, plate glass. So I'm going to swing my flare infrared camera around over in front of this and get this lined up. And I'm doing this completely uncut, so that, that way people say, oh, well, you know, you're, you're messing with stuff. All right, so there's the two bottles in infrared. The way the camera's set up right now is you can see a visual image around the outer edge. Okay, so see if I move it a little bit, you can see the water bottle starting to come in. Okay, so you, this way you'll be able to see me moving the, the material in front of it. And just to show that... It does, plastic does block it. Look, you, you can see my hand coming in. You can see my hand signature. And as soon as it gets behind the cup or the, the bottle, it disappears. Okay? So the bottles are blocking. The reason you're seeing the, the cold or the hot is because it's already heated or cooled the outside of the plastic. Okay? The heat is already transferred through it. So first thing we're going to run in front of it is that eighth inch cast acrylic. You can see it coming in. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why is everything disappearing? Oh my goodness. But you know, so we can still see through it. You can see my hand. You can see everything else. Visually, you can see it. Thermally, you cannot. It blocks it. Okay? Let's do the same thing with this whole sheet of glass I've got here. Bring it in. You can start to see it come in and everything behind disappearing. Nope along with the cold and then the same thing in the heat it's disappearing that's my hand holding it up top okay glass and acrylic is opaque in the infrared bandwidth it does not pass through it it might as well be a brick wall so hopefully you all will believe your eyes and not what I'm telling you or other people are telling you. But if on, you want to replace your the cover on your laser with just a sheet of clear, yes, you can do that. Would I do it? No, because that color is also blocking some of the bright light that's coming through. When you stare where that laser is cutting, I always wear tinted glasses. That light is bright right there where it's cutting, and that's going to affect your eyes just the same as staring at the sun okay that bright light is going to bother you that's why you see stars afterwards so there you are in a nutshell infrared does not pass through acrylic y'all have a great day